The Hippopo Papa Caf, boom, nailed it, in Akashi has built a brand new toilet. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wow, Sean, why is this on DSN? It's just a, a toilet. Yeah. It's just a toilet. Well, the news is pretty thin this week. No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, the toilet has been built into a fish tank. Yep, whilst you're doing your business, you can just watch the fishes swim past. But I'm on my phone. I've already got something to look at. Well, you're going to have to look at fishes now, Mark. When your phone battery dies, yeah, exactly. you can watch them fish. There's no bleach bottle to read. Oh, yeah. So the loo has only been built for the ladies at the Ooh. moment. That's a bit sexist. That's well sexist. But I'm sure there will be plans for a male toilet fish tank in the future. Yeah. So since its installation, staff and customers spend more time on the toilet than in the cafe itself. Go figure, because I suppose that's quite smart. Come, come to the cafe, use, use the loo, but oh, you've got to spend some money first. Yeah, but apparently they've been letting men into the toilets as well just to have a little sneak, which I think is wrong. They should just build them out of the toilet. Anyway, some customers have said to have been too scared to use the loo, as they believe spending a penny close to proximity to a sea creature would be a distinctly uncomfortable experience. If I was the owner though, I'd pay the Jaws theme tune in the loo and have a remote controlled shark that bashes against the glance now and again. I mean, it might help people, you know, go to the toilet if you're a bit, <laughs> if you're a bit clogged up. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> This is quality, mate. Yeah, okay, so I need to be the voice of reason. I am sorry for this, today's story, I'm afraid. Uh, I promise I won't let Sean pick a story like this again. He writes them all. I do. <laughs> uh, although it, uh, it would have felt sort of right at home on our old show, Weird Wednesday. I remember Weird Wednesday. It was awesome, because it was all about these stories. It was just weird, weird stuff. Yes. They'll still be on the channel. Yeah, there's a, there's a playlist and I'm sure they've aged well. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, th there'll be a link up to um, to the playlist we were Wednesday. We looked so young. Before we were broken. Before we were broken, before Brexit, before anything. <laughs> it was bad. Uh, the memories, the memories, Mark. They, <laughs> uh, we used to get excited and go like, this video's got 200 views. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that goes back, anyway. Anyway, back to this viral story. The Aqualoo, as I like to call it, has been a massive hit for the CAF, which is great news. And it really needs to be a hit due to the fact it cost £200,000 to build and install. Now that's an expensive toilet. <laughs> yeah, okay, so this might be the dangerous question. Oh, but no. I'm gonna ask it anyway. What's the most weirdest place you've ever spent a penny? Spent a penny is British slang for going to the toilet for our American audience. Or filing paperwork, dropping the kids off at the pool. <laughs> toilet humor, guys. This is what you guys want about DSN, toilet humor. Would you like to visit this loo as well? Let's have a chat about it. Sorry, a clean <laughs> chat about it in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, stay classy, scuba divers. Yeah, again, sorry. I'm never again. <laughs> <laughs> Toilets! <laughs> You know, you know, there was a plan to have like an adjoining wall between the men's and the women's, and they were like, "Oh yeah, then we can have the fish. We only have one fish tank." Oh no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> we are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.